five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hello, everybody. This 147. is... 147. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. This is episode 147. If you're listening to us on SoundCloud... SoundCloud! You, you can watch us on YouTube. If YouTube! If you're watching us on YouTube, you can listen to us on SoundCloud. And maybe they pay us some the money and we go to Spotify. Ha ha ha! No, we want to be competition. If SoundCloud wants to give us one million dollars to just be exclusive on Jesus, are you okay? <laughs> I almost dropped oh my, my god, beer. You're, you're almost smashing beers. Yeah, if, Sound, yeah. if SoundCloud, we'll do it for one million. That's it. That's a, we won't. We don't need a hundred million. We, what? No. What? We live. We live in a place where one million's okay. One million from SoundCloud, one year deal. Come on, SoundCloud. You know what I looked up? Okay, Joe Rogan signed the $100 million deal with Spotify, okay? What? And then Spotify <laughs> claims, like, they're the number one audio audio app for, like, listening to music, shows, and everything, right? Okay? Yes. <laughs> right? So Spotify yes. has... I believe they have between, they have roughly 285 million users on the app. Users. Okay, which means people that have profiles on the app. Profiles. SoundCloud <clears throat> okay. has 275 million. Ooh. So their SoundCloud is 10 million users short to being equal as Spotify. And I don't think people realize that Spotify and SoundCloud are like neck to neck with the exact same users, 50-50. Because people think YouTube and Spotify are going to compete against each other, but they're not. Because YouTube has 2 billion users on the website with profiles. Oh, wow. And Spotify only has 285 million. Oh, wow. So, th there's no competition there. No. So, I think Spotify's real competition is going to be SoundCloud. Because I feel like SoundCloud is going to grab the unknowns that are on the website. Mm -hmm. Give them exclusive deals. Promote them. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's going to be a war Whoa. between Spotify. War, war is good for. Absolutely nothing. It's gonna be a good war between Spotify and SoundCloud because they're the exact. They're basically Spotify copied SoundCloud. I don't think people realize that SoundCloud was before Spotify, and Spotify's whole layout and how the app is structured is an exact copy of SoundCloud. I don't know. And I don't think people realize that. I think SoundCloud was created before Spotify. I believe so. We have to ask the Google machine. Hey Google, what year was SoundCloud created? August 2007. So SoundCloud was made in 2007. What about Spotify? Then? Okay, now we're gonna ask Spotify. Hey Google. Hey Google. When was Spotify created? April 23rd, 2006. Early. Stockholm, One year before. Oh. So Spotify was created before SoundCloud? So SoundCloud copy Spotify. Uh, no. Uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Yeah, it's a, a Spotify is a Swedish company, which is like the land of white people. The, the what kind of money they have in Sweden? Swedish money? That's interesting how like... Euro, sorry. Perhaps. It's interesting how like Joe Rogan signs with like a European company. And he's going to get paid. Like... To them, a hundred million American dollars is like seventy-five million euros, like seventy million euros. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, so it's like their money is worth more. Yeah. And then they're probably laughing because they think, like, people think they gave a lot of money, but like Spotify makes so much money. They have a hundred thirty million paid subscribers on Spotify. And they all pay ten dollars a month. So if you do the math, how many million? 
130 million paid subscribers. Holy shit, there's a lot of people. That pay $10 a month. Oh my god. On Spotify. That's $130 billion. No, that means that that website alone, from those, from that money alone, they yeah. make $1.3 billion every month. Like, imagine that. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah. They I'm, make $1.3 billion a month. And they only gave Joe Rogan a hundred million, but he's happy with hundred million. Yeah. So for for him, it's big money. But I'm saying. And he do it his job very nice, and everything go fine. I'm saying, well, I know Joe Rogan wants to make his show for free. That's what he gonna do. But I'm saying, like, if he would have switched it, like, if he made like a JRE experience app. And it was like you could watch the show with no censorship, nothing, and you paid like three dollars a month, and he had like ten million people, like he has on YouTube watching him. If they subscribe three dollars a month to him after, he'd be making thirty million dollars a month, and then he would be making two hundred million a year. Uh, doing it that way. That's what he no like it because YouTube. Put some sensors over That's what I'm saying. Like, if you create your what? own yeah, yeah. platform, That's what there's no sensors it. on it. Now, n- now he said it's going to be the same program, everything, just going to Spotify, a different platform. But it looked like everything going to be... Because that's what Howard Stern did. He decided, I'm just going to be on my own platform and people are going to pay. Like, Howard Stern, like, they don't realize, like, with Joe Rogan signing $100 million a deal with Spotify, he's making less money than Howard Stern is making with Sirius XM. Yeah, Howard was the shocking. Like, they have 30 mil, they have like 33 million paid subscribers, and they pay more than $10 a month for satellite radio. It's $14. like $15. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's an interesting world. SoundCloud, if you want to start getting in the game, give us a call. We'll be the uh, number one Canada show for you on Spotify. How Howard went to... Or not Spotify, SoundCloud on SoundCloud. How Howard went to satellite radio to Sirius. Yeah. Was only 850,000 subscribers. Yeah. Then he bring his 20 million people with him. Yeah. Then this grow up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what he's... That's... And then... Howard have 500 million dollars. I don't know. For the first five years. And then... And this is for serious is nothing compared to how much money they're making of the Howard. But I think SoundCloud has an advantage because they're like YouTube. What is SoundCloud from? From States? Yeah, we, I think that's what it said, what SoundCloud's from. Hey, Google. What was SoundCloud created? August 2007. Where? What does it say? Does it say American? Does it say Sweden? Where does it say? Nothing. Oh, but I think SoundCloud will... Hey Google, what SoundCloud is from? According to Wikipedia, SoundCloud is a European online audio distribution Oh, they're European as well. Music sharing website based in Berlin, Germany that enables its users to upload oh, and promote and share audio. German oh, company. my God! Sweden, Germany! What, we don't have nothing here? <laughs> but I'm saying SoundCloud is amazing because it, anyone can make a profile like on YouTube. Yeah. And then you can upload anything, any music, anything you want. Yeah. On to SoundCloud like YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe, like, that's better than Spotify because Spotify is not open to anyone. Uh huh. Yeah. That's amazing. Our Swedish thing. Yeah. Go Germans. Mm-hmm. The unbelievable. Yeah. Jojo Rogan. But there's a new <laughs> trend happening worldwide. Oh, oh my ready? God. Ready? You need to hear this? It's, hear, called, hear. it's called Spite Porn. <laughs> spite porn. Spite. Spite. 
Yeah, do you know what spite means? No, I do Ask Google what the definition of spite is. Hey, Google, what is the definition of spite? Porno. No, that was, you don't say porno. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. To spite is to intentionally annoy, hurt, or upset even when there might be no gain. We get hurt or something. Yeah, so it's like spite means you hurt someone for pleasure with no gaining anything from it. Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's just abuse. <laughs> that's like me calling you a Down Syndrome Red Eye Goof Face. You know, that's spite. That's what he always called me. Yeah. Goof Face Red Eye uh, Syndrome. Yeah, down. the camera's here, by the way. Hello! Why, why are you looking at <laughs> But there's this big trend happening yeah. called spite porn where people can pay an adult star to send a message to old exes awesome okay so, what, what message do you say so this woman that basically created the trend her name is Ali Eve Knox Ali Eve Knox Ali Eve Knox Ali Eve Knox okay Ali Eve Knox no Ali Ali Eve Eve Knox. Knox. Yes. Ali Eve Knox. <laughs> Ali Eve Knox. Ask Google who Ali Eve Knox is. Hey Google, who is Ali Eve Knox? Sorry, I don't understand. Hey Google, who is Ali Eve Knox? My apologies. I don't understand. Yeah, you don't know how to speak English. Okay, hey Google. Who is Ali Eve Knox? I don't understand. Okay, never mind. That <laughs> she's a porn star. I don't I think Google has settings where they don't want to look up like porn sexual stuff? people. Oh, yeah. Sexual people. Cuz Google Google's uh doesn't they don't think they're real workers. Oh. Yeah. Even though they're the ones that offer them subscriptions to make websites. Uh huh. Uh, but you know, Google's what retarded. The, what a the but Ali. Ali Eve Knox. So Ali gets paid by random people to make sexual videos insulting their exes. Uh huh. That's the. Okay. So. Where, where I can find this? I want to insult my so, exes. <laughs> so Ali made a tweet. Yes. That went viral. Oh. She wrote that a woman just ordered a custom video from me to send to her ex-husband. Yes. And he, and he made, or like, it was basically saying like, he, well, I don't know why I wrote that. <laughs> that makes no sense. And he, uh, me, shame. What? <laughs> yeah, I, wrote, I must have wrote that wrong okay, or something. Okay. But yeah. it, it was basically like. She wrote to the porn star that he shamed her and did a lot of shit to her while they were together. So she wanted her to make a video reminding him of how all the shit he did to his ex-girlfriend with a porn star in the video. It's a very interesting dynamic. Alright. And it's called Spike Porn. Spike even nuts. No spike. Spite. Spikes. But uh, the tweet went viral and people were praising the idea. And that's an idea for people to do during this uh, awesome quarantine time. Pay a... Uh, oh. Visit to your ex? No, pay a porn star and be like, I want you to send a video to Jimmy. Tell huh? tell Jimmy... What kind of ass of you? Tell Jimmy that every time you punched the cat, it made me cry. <laughs> And that when you stuck a wooden spoon in my asshole in the kitchen, that wasn't funny. Yeah. And then the porn star goes, awesome, give me $500, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then the lady goes, no problem. No problem. And then that's what spike porn is. Uh-huh. And that's what this woman created. It's very nice. And she explained it on Twitter, which is the platform where freedom of speech is there, but also not there. <laughs> That's favorite uh, platform of the, uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. Twitter. And OJ Simpson. Yeah, but you're truly OJ. Uh, hello. <laughs> but All right, so that was interesting. Yeah, what kind of message would you get her to write or oh. say oh. in a video? Stop spraying fucking bullshit. 
Stop spraying bullshit. Yeah. Okay. That's my that, ex. That's it. Yeah, because she always said <laughs> like I was the bad, bad, and she yeah. was the, the angel. <laughs> I don't know what you. The uh, way I'm saying. It sounded like your brain was shutting down. No, I said that. how my ex always tried to say I was the bad, bad guy. Yeah. Yapping everything, and she yeah. was the angel. Uh huh. But everybody know. It's the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Great message. So I gonna send the man shut the fuck up and grow up. <laughs> that deal, too. Deal with the shit. You don't want to say like maybe eat an apple or like stop ordering pasta or fuck it. I don't give a shit. I say order more pizza and die. Yeah, and get a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, uh, it's not die, but uh, you know, like yeah, yeah, fall off a mountain. Go across the road and you know, just on, sink in the ocean. Uh. Go on ice, uh, start ice skating where ice is not ready. Yeah, that's nice. And then in uh, during this pandemic, there's a big recession happening. Where so in the United States, already forty million people have lost their jobs. So there's 40 million people alone in the United States on unemployment. You're right talking now. about the coronavirus now? Yeah, no, I'm talking about yeah, fucking Twinkies going on. I was thinking you're talking show. about X again. Yeah, I'm trying to transition to the next topic, you fucking idiot. And you ruined it! Because you fucking can't just sit and listen. You have to talk. Where's my gun? Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Jesus. We're in a recession. You're violent. <laughs> There's attitude. 40 million people. Where 40 million? With no jobs in the United in, States of in America. In Canada, we have only 32. In million. Canada, there is 3 million people that are on unemployment right and now. And fucking 30 million working. Mm. <laughs> we, we have 33 million people only. Yeah. 3 million employment, 30 million working. Yeah, but those 30 million people are paying for the 3 million to sit at home. Yeah, but that's nothing. Which that's like 10%. No, yeah, well, Justin Trudeau's shitting his pants. They can't afford the fucking Cer the Serb account anymore. He ain't no shedding his yes, pants. Yes, he is. He's already shedding his pants with the Serb, where he's freaking out to a point where how many people... He said 7 million people applied for Serb, which means... That's even, that's almost three times more than the unemployment rate right now. There's there's almost three times more people applied for his CERB yeah. than unemployment. People have to eat. Which, he's shedding his pants. All right. Because people, not only do people lose their jobs, <laughs> they, get, cu they get cut hours. Now from they're working from 40 hours a week, now they're only working 20 hours a week. I know. So then they go, oh, CERB, I could get CERB. And then the government goes like, we can't pay 7 million people yeah, $8,000. Yeah, they no problem. Yeah. Do you know how much that is? Ask Google how much that is. No, $8,000. Ask, exactly. ask Google. Yeah, it is. You get $2,000 a month for four months. That's $8,000 to 7 million people. That's you, Where did you get the... What do you what do you Oh because it's four months yeah. times two? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So ask Google. Seven million times eight thousand. Hey Google. Seven million times eight thousand. Here are some details. How much money is that? Fifty six billion dollars. Which is nothing for us. What was the original number they wanted the to get? Spotify are making what, eight billion what, what, a week. What was fifty People applied for $56 billion, and what was the original number for the Serb relief? How much money? How many they billions? Say, uh, Six billion only they wanted to give out. Yeah, but still. Six? They, the government wanted, thinking they were only going to give $6 billion no, 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 no. to the economy. No, 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 no. They said about this first and wave, then the, and then, and then, then the economy, more, they're going to do more. And now the economy needs 56. They were short by so much, so now... Trudeau is trying to force businesses to get the business loans to pay them because they fucked up and misquoted how many people 
needed the relief fund. I don't say not. But there's like, I didn't hear there's, about that. yeah, there's, it's, no, no, I it's know. public you know. news. It's no, no, on every know. fucking, I don't you know could, about business. You could read about it. I, I know the numbers seven million, spiking with the Seven million of people applied for this yeah, relief, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. relief account, and it promises you $8,000 regardless for four months. And it's split as $2,000 every month. One payment. That's how it's set up. And 7 million of people applied for it, and that's how much it cost the you government. $56 billion. When they thought originally they were only going to use $6 billion. So just think about that. That's fucking wild. But the, that's, not the all, that's not the only business that's crumbling, the fucking government business. The marijuana business is crumbling because of these dark times. Oh, my God. People can't afford weed, apparently. This is how bad it's getting. And weed companies are making not as much money as they like to. Okay? So a company in Chicago just re released a new brand of cannabis. And they're labeling it as high supply. Now, high supply. this is what's happening now. Oh, my God. You have... Okay, for an example, mm -hmm. you have they you have like Stella beer. Mm -hmm. So that was what was selling in all marijuana stores. They had like product that was like made that well, mm -hmm. and people were buying it like crazy, mm -hmm. like Stella mm -hmm. Stellar marijuana. Mm -hmm. Okay, now people are buying less. They have to make now a cheap Bud Light version mm -hmm. of the marijuana now. So now they have to make it more affordable. So what this company did is they have a high-end brand now, and now they're going to make a cheap, no-frills, no-name marijuana brand called High Supply. Oh. So they're making, like, cheaper products for people to help them smoke. So no, yeah, you need to smoke. Yeah. So In those times. So this company that they created now, High Supply, will run... 20% 20, 20 cheaper than their bigger brand, which is uh, Cresco. Mm. That's the name of the company. Hello, Cresco. It's Cresco. Cresco. Okay. So, so like, when you go to the weed store, you could buy pre-rolled joints that are usually, like, a gram big. That's the, that's the standard for any marijuana dispensary store. You get one gram pre-rolled joints. So, now... They're going to basically cut that in half now and sell it to you cheaper. No kidding. But it's, but that's what they're doing. That's what weed stores have to cut on products now because that's how bad it's getting. So the, the, the guy who's selling you weed, he says, okay, I'm going to sell you weed for the same price, but I have to need to like uh, one puff. <laughs> All right, now you can get it. No, it's like, oh it's like my. what I did, the example. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I'm just joking. But it, it's okay. I, it's like you always, have, you always mm. buy, like, Stella beer, and it costs, like, $17 for whatever, a six-pack. I think it's like 15 I don't euros. care, I'm making up numbers. I'm trying to give you an example. And then, now you're like, okay, I have to cut money and funds. I'm going to start buying Bud Light beer. It's the same, it's beer. But it's three to four dollars cheaper. So now I'm gonna be saving three to four dollars. Why month. is cheaper? Why are you yawning? I don't know. Wait. I'm falling asleep. But it's like we're ending, we're ending up in like a big weed recession, basically. Like it's crazy. Like government should fucking buy it. Like they estimated that their company was gonna grow thirty percent bigger this year in 2020. But the opposite happened, where it went down 30%. Yeah, because that's everything coronavirus. Woohoo! Fucked up everybody. And then, you know, like, when you smoke marijuana, and you, it makes you want to eat, and mm. then people are scared now of getting obese, or getting fat, because there's no gyms, you can't, like, there's no, like, fitness centers you, you can go to, exercise, right? But yeah. now scientists have discovered that, in fact, there is a skinny gene. And they discovered what the skinny gene is. I have skinny gene. So now they have... You ha want my gene? 
What? <laughs> my skinny jean? Your skinny jean? Yeah, I no. never get past 200 Can you stop stuff. kicking because you're moving the light and then you're gonna see it on the video, the fucking light shaking in your face. You gotta think of what you're doing. You gotta pay attention. Skinny jean. Okay. You're all right. Fuck jean. Okay, so... <laughs> okay. The scientist yeah, discovered yeah. a skinny jean. Okay. Okay. How skinny jean look like? It's basically it's about a half of fa- no. size of the big gym. No, basically, <laughs> basically like there's, there's like you, you always meet people that are like they, they eat fucking piles of shit every day. Like pasta. Like pasta, McDonald's. Yeah, like Wendy's, big and they're shit. fucking like, hundred fifty pounds, like fucking skinny, and they never gain weight. And That's then, me. And then you're like, why? No, you don't eat like that. You're fucking, you barely eat. Yeah, but that's why you're skinny. You don't fucking eat. <laughs> I don't like eat. Like, like I, I go to McDonald's. I get five chicken sandwiches. I see the. Does and you eat? just are like, give me one burger. That's your problem. You know, should go to McDonald's. I haven't. No, but in they. A, no, no, no. But they said every fucking fast food they add some shit. That's why people are fat. Yeah, it's processed food. Yeah. So don't buy processed food. Yeah. Make yourself something. Yeah. Look, look, I can count on my hand how many times, like, we have uh, two Big Macs so far in quarantine. You bought it for me just two big time, two times. Okay. And maybe two times Whopper this year so far. That's it. Uh-huh. In Putin. In Putin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but th- I can count on my hand. I never go. I can go anytime I want, but no. Mm-hmm. Like something say to me, fat <laughs> or yeah. sexy, uh, and I say old. <laughs> I say pretty, and then you're like I'm and falling say, apart. Pretty, pretty. I'm old. And they said like no. Yeah. Ugly or fat. So I say ugly better than fat. So oh, I choose sh- ugly. That's ugliness. But uh, they discovered this gene, and it's called the ALK gene. Yeah, I ALKing. Alk <laughs> You're ALKing? I have ALK gene all my life. I just want to see if Google will explain it if oh, we ask. Oh, let's see. Okay. Well, what are you, okay. Hey, Google. What is the ALK gene? Have a look at these pictures. What did we get? We got supermodels on the screen. That's our gene. Oh. That's our, uh, That's me. All right, I'll say it. You di- say genes, I'll, probably. I'll, that's why. I'll say it different. Yeah, you you can say gene. You have to say by G, not the J. They say gene. I know. I said gene. No, you say gene. I didn't say Jane. Okay. I said gene. Hey Google, what is fat gene? That's not what I want. According to Flybase. Folded gastrulation, fog, encodes a secreted ligand that signals via that's GPCRs not, that's, to coordinate cell shape change during gastrulation. In the nervous system, Jesus. it regulates motor axon guidance, glial organization, and morphogenesis. You have Down syndrome today. We're talking about the skinny gene. Why are hey, you asking Google, you? what is... Hey, Google, what is skinny gene? Here's the definition of skinny genes. Type hey, genes Google, hey, Google, hey, Google... What is skinny jean? Jean. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Google. What is skinny jean? Not Jane. Jean. Hey, Google. Let me say. Hey, Google. Shut up. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What is the ALK gene? Tyrosine kinase receptor, or CD246, is an enzyme that in humans is encoded by the ALK gene. So, so that gene is the skinny gene. So I have ALK... ALK. K gene. Gene. ROS1 gene. So they basically tested 47,000 healthy people in Estonia between the ages of 20 to 44, and they figured out that all these skinny people 
had this gene in common, and they're all skinny people. But what about you? If they test you, what kind of skinny gene you don't have it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you fart? No. First of all, because it smells right now. No. It smells like you farted. No, I'm not. You're lying. I will be safe if I fart. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little stinky right now. Maybe you fart and you don't know you farting. No, I know if I fart. I tell you, I'm, I'm stink because I need shower. Oh, okay. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Yeah. But I wash, uh, fix the cars, everything, and it's like million degrees outside working, and I'm sweating. But scientists are thinking about using this and calling it the... And if you am talk, my, my mouth stinks like uh, my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm talking to you directly, and you're dying right there because maybe. my skinny jean <laughs> is spraying out of your mouth. <laughs> So what happened is that? So scientists are interested in this now and they're going to try to create a thing called the ALK7 inhibitation, which is they're going to use it as a therapeutic strategy for treatment for obesity. Yeah, they're going to give you a inhibitation. No, so maybe in the future they're going to make like like a like say like a vaccine Maybe in the future you know go to McDonald's no. at the end of the story. No, say in the future. I said before if you go to McDonald's and you go on a scale with your car, and if you too much, they know should serve you my thing. Say go ahead, go home, lose some weight, and then come back. Mm -hmm. That's what. And if you walk into the store, it should be like a door shape where you can fit. If you too fat, you can go. Mm -hmm. No, no. But you you can't walk into restaurants anymore. So I know. So quarantine. now they should put skill before you go to the McDonald's. They wait your car with you, and they know this model of the car. So this runway, they're gonna add how much car weight mm -hmm. and how much you are heavy over there, and they're gonna say grand. Okay. Go home, lose some weight. Uh -huh. Come back where you two two uh, two hundred pa pounds. Two hundred pounds. Okay. Stop fucking around. Okay. And they say okay, no McDonald's for you. Yeah. Or maybe we give you salad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. they're thinking like maybe it might be like a vaccine in the future and all kids get in and then no one becomes fat. There's going to be so many vaccines, it's ridiculous. Imagine that. We're going to have vaccine for COVID-19. We have a vaccine, vaccine for, for fat, fat people. For fat people, yeah. for skinny people. So we became fat people and then for fat people, they back to the skinny people. Yeah. You never know, but they tested like on different animals. They tested like they tested on mice and stuff and everything. But they test elephant. Why he's so big? Yeah, and they shrunk him into a mouse. But <laughs> <laughs> that's right. They're like this gene's amazing. It's amazing. But there's other animals that. That's why elephant. Yeah. Scared of the mouses because <laughs> they don't want to become that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they look okay. and they think they smell the mouse in their brain. They are anorexic and a little. Yeah. And they say they're looking at this big mouse, which is little, mm -hmm. but they see opposite. They see big. Uh -huh. So they never scared of lion because lion for them actually small. Sure. But small things actually is bigger of them. Okay. That's why <laughs> elephants get bananas. Yeah. Well, they like to eat bananas, that's for sure. And, but uh, speaking elephants of... Elephants and bananas? Yeah. Yes, they eat, eat bananas. Yeah, like a blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I, I see it. Sometimes they use their penises to scratch their bellies. Did you know that? What? Did you know the elephants have six foot penises? They fucking look like a, a, a fucking a boxing gloves. No, elephants have six foot penises and they're so big that they can use them as a second trunk. No, they have penis look like a yeah. Boxing ask gloves. how big a Google or how big an how big an elephant. How big is Google? <laughs> yeah, how big is a how big is Google on a elephant? Ask Google how big an elephant penis is. Hey Google, how big is elephant penis? That's a big cock. <laughs> 100 centimeters. Hmm. Yeah. One meter. There's one meter, one meter cock. So that's like my leg. Yeah. That's pretty big penis. That's a crazy roundhouse kick, huh? You're gonna grab... <laughs> so did the elephant have trunk? Yeah. And have a penis Back like a trunk. Backup trunk, yeah. So he have to be careful because he can trip on this penis. Because it's so long. Yeah, but I think their legs are longer than that. 
What happens if you have a short legs and you put a fan <laughs> and you trip on your penis? I think the only time they have short legs is when they get poached by poachers, and that's it. Oh, okay. But speaking of animals, an alligator once... The ru- alligator penis is how long? An alligator once rumored to have belonged to Nazi leader Adolf Hitler has just died in Moscow Zoo. Did alligators who belong to Adolf Hitler? <laughs> he just died. He just died Why in he died? Moscow Zoo. I know, but they're supposed to live forever. Okay, so there's this rumored alligator that apparently people thought Hitler owned at one point, but it's a rumor. Okay. Died at 84 years old. It's a Mississippi alligator. Yes. Okay, okay. so okay. ask Google what a Mississippi alligator is. Hey, Google. What is Mississippi alligator? Here is some information for alligator in Mississippi. According to MDWFP.com, we recently estimated that there are 32,000 to 38,000 alligators and about 408,000 acres of alligator habitat in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, stop kicking that fucking chair because the light's moving records, and you're going to see it. Alligator complaints have come from as far north as Coahoma, Lafayette, and Itawamba counties. Yeah, you know where Niamahamba County is? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fucking alligators in Mississippi yeah, River. Yeah, but Mississippi River goes through New Orleans. It goes through Louisiana mm, as that's well. That's why a lot of people miss him. Okay, but so there's this famous alligator. His name was Saturn. Okay? Saturn? Saturn. Hmm. Okay, Saturn, Saturn was born in what the... What is his name? Was? Saturn. Like the car? Yeah, Saturn. Like the planet? Yeah, Saturn. Yeah, yeah, Saturn. Okay, yeah. so Saturn the alligator mm-hmm. <laughs> was born in the U.S. in 1936. Right before the war. Okay? Yeah. And then the zoo in the United States <laughs> gave, it, gave the alligator to the Berlin Zoo as a gift to Germany. Yes. So then, so the Saturn went from New Jersey. No, from to, like Louisiana. To Louisiana. And they flew him to Germany. To Germany. And they said, Germans, I w- here's your new animal for your zoo. Your reptile. Yeah. Not an animal. Yeah, it's an animal. And it's <laughs> called an alligator. And then the Germans like, this is nice. <laughs> What's his name? Saturn. Saturn. And Hitler said, I love it. Okay, so... So how he end up in Russia? So then this is what happened. He arrives into Germany in 1936. No. The war just... Well, his st- name's Saturn. 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 He survives World War II in Berlin. So what happened was Germany was getting attacked in Berlin. They were dropping bombs from airplanes, and it started blowing up the zoo. Oh, my God. So they attacked the Berlin Zoo... And because all the bombs were exploding in the zoo, Saturn escaped from the zoo. So Saturn survived the bombing. <laughs> and Saturn said, fuck this. Uh, it's good. I, I'm going down. I'm leaving. I'm submarine now. So now Saturn disappears for... Uh, no, they bomb it in 1943, sorry. He arrives in 36, they bomb in 43. Yeah, yeah, that was almost war over 45. But yeah, so they bomb the zoo in 1943. He escapes, disappears for three years in Germany. Then British shol- soldiers find him in, in 1946 in, in Berlin. So British guys come and they're like, holy shit, there's an alligator here. Where? In Berlin. Berlin where? What do you mean, Germany? Yeah, but you said he escaped from fucking zoo. zoo. Where is he was? I active? don't know, in the trees, in a forest, in a But pond. I have a, a thing, I'm thinking how, how the Saturn was so popular in a, how Adolf Hitler feed him with what? And I'm thinking he feed him with Jews. <laughs> you think, you think no, Saturn no. lived on Jewish people? No, like Jewish meat. Kosher like, meat? Yeah, like... Like, you know, what Jewish people eat? They eat a hummus. <laughs> so, so he eat the hummus, probably. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, Hitler did not like Jews because the, the Jewish doctor did not help his mom and his mom died. Yes. That's why he hate Jews. Yeah. 
So basically, British soldiers found him. So look at this. Wait a second. Okay. Think about it. Because this one fucking Jew, <laughs> mm -hmm. doctor, okay. fucked up. Yeah. And then Hitler killed so many Jews for this one fucking retard. Yeah. So they should be not mad <laughs> on the Hitler. Oh, sure. They should not be on this doctor who make Hitler hate Jews. Yeah. Because the lazy motherfucker doctor did not help his mom how supposed to. Yeah. And she died. Uh -huh. So now he hates the Jews because the doctor was Jew. Sure. But we're talking about Saturn. The I know. So right now we have amazing, alligator. Amazing alligator story, okay? Saturn. Saturn. All right. Survives so the guy the... find him somewhere. Yeah, they so In he... a corner, 1946. Six. And he say, what's your name? And he says, Zad. And the British people were like, we're not taking this alligator home. Did the alligator we're... have chipping? And then the, he, they, the British people go, hey, Russians, we found you a new pet. The Russians are like, yeah, we take alligator, no problem. <laughs> so then the British army talked to the Russian army, which was Soviet Union. They're like, you could take the alligator. And they said, no problem. So, they, so Saturn went to the Russia. So then after Saturn was given to Russia Zoo, and then he's been living in that Moscow Zoo ever since till he died. Do we have a pictures of Saturn? Probably if you hey, look hey Google. Who's Saturn the alligator? According to Wikipedia, Saturn was an American alligator residing in the Moscow Zoo. He was the subject of an urban myth that he was previously Adolf Hitler's pet alligator. See? Hey Google. Show me the Saturn alligator picture. Have a look at these pictures. He was like a Mississippi alligator. He was a big alligator. What you see in the States. They yeah. run around everywhere. Yeah, that's what he looked like. Oh. He died at 84 years old, okay? Oh, that's and he was a he was a bit I don't know, he's just a famous alligator and the only place you could meet him was in Moscow, Russia, and everyone believed that Hitler was was like this was Hitler's pet. And uh the Russians say that that's fake. There was no animals evolved in World War II, mm -hmm. which proves like how stupid Russians are because there was Wojtek the bear. That was fought, Polish guy. Yeah, who fought in World War II. And then there's Saturn the alligator who survived World War yeah. II. And they used and, uh, uh, dolphins to attack Japanese submarines. And there was a lot of animals involved in World yeah, War II. And exactly. people don't realize th what different animals were used in World and War And German II. was making the army of chimpanzees and gorillas who were supposed to attack U.S. Army with these chimpanzees and gorillas. Yeah. They teach them talk, but they didn't speak. But now Sa <laughs> Saturn has passed away. So what they're doing with Saturn... Wait a second before I forget. Okay. Hey Google. Did German made experiments in Second War with the gorillas and chimpanzee? I found these results. Yeah, she's like, I don't even know what the fuck you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, don't read out loud. Just fucking this is a talk show, you fucking dummy. Okay? So uh -huh. Saturn will be given to the Moscow Darwin Museum, where he will be a tax taxidermized, taxidermized, and he will be on display in the museum for the rest of life. Oh, like the so stuff they're gonna him? stuff him. Yeah, yeah. And he's gonna be like mm, standing in the museum. Nice. So if you missed Saturn the alligator, you could go still see him at the Moscow's Darwin Museum. He is an alligator that lived 84 years and survived World War II in Germany. And the average life expectancy of these alligators is 50 years. So he outlived the expectation by 34 years. What well, usually what alligators live. So I thought that was interesting that there was uh, this famous 
Never, I never knew of this but famous story, alligator Saturn. Yeah, but they, that story would just say it. It brings me a new point what I just learned from your story. Okay. The Darwin Museum. Yeah. You know who was Darwin? Yeah, he's the guy who said we evolved from apes to humans. Or, it's the Darwin or from what? aliens. No, he never said that. Yes. That's he, he yes. never said that. Look, that's what the Darwin theory is. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Google, the Darwin theory involve chimpanzees and aliens. These are the top results. No, you asked it the wrong question. Okay, so one more time, you ask. Okay? You're asking it so it makes you say yes because you're fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> like. Like How many times you accused saying, me today? Yeah, you're like saying like bananas are purple, and then you're like, okay, Google, show me purple bananas, and I then it's gonna be you say about and, bananas, and then there's listen, gonna be drawings listen, of purple stop. bananas. I know, but I never and like, see the purple bananas. That, that's remind me these bananas. I never forget this movie called Clifton Hill. Mm-hmm. No, what's the rest of the What was? <laughs> yeah, what was it called? Go ahead. You're fucking, you fucking... Remember, you remember everything Cliff, so good. But anyway, from this movie where he was like in the... Uh, like uh, hiking the fucking mountains. Yeah. It was the guy was painting the picture, yeah? Okay. And he said, what do you see here? Mm-hmm. And he asked the guy. And the guy said, I don't know, what is that? And he said, you know like monkey eat bananas always? In my pictures, actually, bananas eat monkeys. Mm-hmm. So I never forget this expression. I said, like, what a fucking genius. Like, mon- banana eat monkeys. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, but speaking of uh, people... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you forget. No, okay. So there's... There's a big Darwin. We was talking about Darwin. Darwin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But hey. I'm moving on. No, I want to. Yes, find out I the... don't care. Oh my god. Saturn the alligator. <laughs> See, Saturn, Darwin, space aliens. Why did name him Sp- Saturn? Germans. Darwin <laughs> did not study space. Listen, listen. I know. Okay. But listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Why Hitler named him Saturn? Hitler didn't name him. How it's you know? a rumor. How it, you know? He was born in the United States. In yeah, America, but, they named yeah, him Yeah, yeah, but maybe he didn't have a name yet in the States. Was just alligator. No. Americans were like Germans. Here's your new alligator Saturn. Here you go. And they said, no problem. Hey, Google. Who named alligator Saturn Saturn? Here's the top Wikipedia result. Uh. Okay, so there's this famous. Okay, so there's this big thing online with cyberbullying. It's a big problem. We're jumping off already. It's, it's a big no problem for many years. Okay. What happened about bullying and the people dying? Cyberbullying. Oh, like on the internet. Yes. Okay, dog. So there's this famous, well-known Japanese wrestler. Her name is Hana. That's woman. Kimura. Oh, okay. Hana Kimura, yeah. Hana Kimura. Hey, Google, who is Hana Kimura? According to Wikipedia, Hana Kimura was a Japanese female professional wrestler who wrestled for the women's professional wrestling promotion World Wonder Ring Stardom. She died? She died. Oh. Recently. She was 22 years old when she died. Did she have no just belt from uh, the chick who went uh, for pregnant test? No, this chick wrestles for a Japanese wrestling company oh, not here. Okay. called Stardom. Okay, I'm which sorry. Is a, because look the same like this which chick. Which is an all-female wrestling company. Okay, so she was 22 years old. She's 22 years old. And she died. She died because of cyberbullying. Oh, like somebody... People were bullying her, her head her, and she... bullying her. There's no reason to because she was a good-looking, talented girl. I don't know why they would bully her. It doesn't make sense, but she was very well known. Yeah, why do people like, take 
personally everything. She was also on a Netflix TV show called Terrace House. She was the star of a Netflix TV show and working full time as a Japanese professional wrestler at 22 years old. Mm-hmm. So she was a pretty like well known yes. performer, but yes. because of cyberbullying, yes, it caused basically they believe that from the cyberbullying it caused her to commit suicide, and a lot of people were speaking about it online. There was a lot of a lot of famous people pissed because yeah. we. First, it was Shad Gaspar died from trying to save his son from drowning in the ocean. Yeah, that's that was the first guy at the beginning of the like week that died. At least he saved his son. And he saved his son. Then, literally two days later, this other wrestler dies, named Hanakimura, from cyberbullying. That's terrible. And it's uh, it sucks because she's young, and it shows like. What, how people affect other people from writing. And people, I tell you right now, life is too short. Start affecting different people. Fuck this. We on the same wagon. Enjoy the ride. The ride gonna be over. And nothing gonna help you. Re- you can't go second time on this ride. So everybody, we're going on one wagon called life. And fucking do not fucked up. Yeah. Stop. Looking on different people start bother them. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a lot of famous female wrestlers and people, public figures that are really angry at this situation that cyberbullying lead this young woman to suicide. It should be something on the internet like a system where you start cyberbullying somebody and run away, shut down your fucking account. Mm-hmm. Like you know, something would know you bullying somebody, yeah. and run away like zik, shut mm-hmm. you over for two weeks, so you can't do nothing. And then it's gonna be inform everybody you bullying somebody. Careful, bully alert. And then they're gonna be scared after bully somebody because they don't want to be bully alert. And your boss gonna know every everybody, but not to fight about you became bully and you bully this person. Yeah. That should be something like a nice, some kind of system, like the program, who gonna find this, because this gonna save a lot of lives, because some people really get to their head, like, they get affected yeah, they by you, say something, yeah, they... like, you call me idiot all the time, I just want to shoot myself, but I can afford the gun and the bullets. <laughs> 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 and that's it. And then, uh, but it's just sad, because she's, I know, I she's know. young, and she was on a big... Netflix show. Yeah. Like, Terrace House is like... She was successful, young lady, and now she's dead. Yeah, it's just like a waste. It's a waste. Because, yes. Yeah. Yeah, terrible. But the Terrace House is a big show, which is apparently a reality show on Netflix. Okay, no, yeah. Well, ask Google what Terrace House is. Oh, sorry. Hey, Google. What is Terrace House? According to Wikipedia... Terrace House is a Japanese reality television show franchise consisting of five series and one theatrical film. So this was like a really big reality show and like series in Japan, like yeah. on Netflix over there, okay? Um, and yeah. she was the face. She was the face of Japanese Netflix. Not anymore. And not anymore because of people Peace and love. trying to make it's fun. Terrible. Of Some people were ridiculous. Like they was even bully us, remember? They bully us, like say I'm Bulgarian, but I'm really Canadian, <laughs> and, and they bully you. They said, you know, with what? You with your feet. They said, no, people love my feet. Yeah, but they say, they go more feet. Yeah, less, they less, say, oh can my I God. finish? Yeah, they said like this. you're making up shit. No, no, they yeah. say like more feet, less for your face or something. They did not say that. <laughs> they said we like the combination of. Both. No, no, I I'm joking, but yeah. you know, you are. You probably received some fucking bullshit. Yeah, I get good comments. One was uh, douche uh, a month ago. I got that. You get douche? Yeah, because for I, what? For for your shows? Uh, or for yeah, because people get mad because I do water reviews and then I say their water tastes like shit from their country and then they say douche. Oh. And I go, what? Water is the fucking village man, went with plastic to a creek, scoop, <laughs> scooped it up. Put a lid on it, 
and then charged you four dollars for it. And then I'm the douche. And oh, not the guy who makes the bottled water. That's not the douche. Yeah, but they said... And then you're the dumbass who's buying that creek water, which you could go scoop up. You can't to, have creek water. The, that's what bottled water is. No, 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 no. They have, Natural spring water know, is going fucking... through filtration li- system. No, still. it's not. It's literally a fucking... Pepsi going with a garden hose. No. They put the fucking garden hose in a creek, and then the hose shoots the water to the factory, okay. and then they start re- <laughs> they start filling no. water bottles. Hey, hey, Google. <laughs> How? What is the process making spring water? According to APEC Five water minutes. Systems, a typical spring water treatment process includes a filtration system that generally runs in series five micron filtration to zero point two micron filtration. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so it's going everything. You don't want to drink some fish or crabs or bullshit. Either. There's no they fish have or to crabs filtrate. in a creek. When did you see fish no, or crabs in a creek? No, they have to filter it. And then finally, a two-faced kitten was born in Oregon the other day. Like, kitten with two heads? And two faces. No, in a what? cat with two faces. Well, two faces in uh, must have two faces. Heads. No, it's one giant head <laughs> with two faces on it. Hey, Google. No, I was. Uh, let me stop rushing, you fucking idiot. Holy shit. Okay, sorry. Let me speak. I want to see the picture. That's yeah. What I'm they're, no, the they're known as ja- Janus cats. Janus cats? Yeah, they're known as. Jan- it's like anus with a J in front of it. That's Janus. Like anus with genus. Yeah, yeah, Janus cats. Janus cat. They named this Janus cat biscuits and gravy. That's what they named the two faced cat. Yes. But these cats are known as Janus cats. Okay, so, so now is... ask Google what a Janus cat is. Hey, Google. What is Janus cat? According to Live Science. A short lifespan is common for these two-faced cats, which have a condition called diprosopus. The name Janus refers to the similarly two-faced Roman god. So what, he have like front is different face and back is different face? No. That's what about They're side by side. No way. They're like this. So the cat has two eyeballs and a mouth here, and then there's another two eyeballs and a mouth here. Hey, Google. Show me the pictures of Janus cat. These pictures should match. In this picture, it's two faces on one. Yeah, eye. but look at this. Yeah. This one eye joined with another eye. Yeah, and that's what it looks like a Janus that's cat. That's crazy. So the average lifespan for these Janus cats is literally three days when they're born. No, this guy looks yeah. older. Okay, so the average <laughs> is three days these cats survive. Because obviously, I think they go ape shit when they realize they can see four different directions at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but this one looks like it's older. Okay, but there's a world record. There's this Janus cat that lived 15 years. He look. Yeah, I know. They're older. Yeah. They can live longer. <laughs> You're just, he's just looking at pictures of Janus cats, which is the two-faced cats he's looking at right now. So, so, so they're, they're born with this birth defect where they d- have two faces on one head. I think so. They have four eyes, two mouses, and they going everything going to one brain. So that's... Actually, it's not two cats. It's one yes, cat one with cat. four eyes. Yes. Three eyes. This situation. four eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's a, that's a real animal that you could buy. Like buy? Could, yeah, because this couple gave birth to it in Oregon, and so far it's still alive, still functioning, and they have a a, a functioning Janus cat, right now. I don't know if they're selling it. I don't know if they're keeping it. Oh, the the oldest oldest two faced cat, cat has name Frank. Yeah. And Louis. And Louis. And they're in Frank the, Louis. Yeah, and they're in the Guinness Book of World Records. They live 15 years. It's and this the, one is 53 years old. And it's the fam- uh, No, that's like. <laughs> it's the most famous two-faced Janus cat. And that's what Janus cats are. 
So if you're ever in the market, if you want a two-faced cat, <laughs> oh my god, like, <laughs> fucking you crazy. could go buy a Janus cat. I don't want a two-faced cat. Yeah, I will be buy two cats. Like the cat doesn't have to turn his head. Like you know how you try to walk around it. It doesn't have to move because just, it just goes from this eye over here, and he's like, I still see you. I still and see you. And the same with food, like he can eat whatever he wants. And he has to switch with the different mouths. He has to go, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> but that's sad. I feel sorry for But me. that's a real cat, Janice cat. Yeah, that's amazing. And someone made one in Oregon and now he last made, week. In... But there's a lot of different cats working in Oregon. There's more cats in here. What do you mean? Like it's, you see it. There's one is different, pick... one different. Yeah, one but different. I'm s the oldest one that ever lived was 15 years old. That's normal. But the cat. average is three days. Well, a fucking moth or something. Okay, which is this is a common thing that happens, but they just don't live long. Oh. And then yeah, so that's a new animal you could look up, Janus cats, and then go down that rabbit hole of uh, videos and looking up two-faced cats. But today the big story was satyr alligator in Darwin fucking museum in Russia. Yes, you can see him, visit him. Yeah, in Moscow. In, in Darwin. Moscow. Yeah, Darwin Museum. Darwin Museum. And then that's the show. And thank you very much. Stay safe. And we in this together. Okay. And to the next week. Uh, yeah. 147 mm -hmm. out.